doing building with Austin 101. Because this is something I do in my real life time because I have no real hobbies outside of professional wrestling. And uh, you find cool ways to build dangerous things and uh, you need Work smarter, not harder. Deathmatch arch and crafts. This is actually how I love Ito it. from <laughs> Japan, Ito is one of the engineers. That came into. This is how they do it in Japan. It seems to be a lot smarter and easier. Thank you. I'm sorry. How we do it. Sorry. Ever since I jammed that freaking bolt through my hand. It's pretty awesome. That was like the first time that I've actually seen someone build like that. That's a lot of fucking more. Oh, this is cool. Hey, Scratch, can you do me a favor and grab me all that shit? Thanks, man. Yep. <laughs> all right. I stuck in my shoes. Oh, I'm so sorry. That could have been very stupid. No, I'm not. You're going to look like an idiot, man. Fucking straight up leather jacket, zombie pockets, and badge. I'll wear it, bro. Do it better than I would. I think he likes stuff. All right, uh, this is difficult to do. You might want to look out. This is barbed wire. It's really sharp. And I'm stupid, so. In his natural habitat. Watch as he twists the wire on Ow, to the baseball fuck. bat Good. that will yes, later on be crammed into yes, the cranium of some high. unfortunate <laughs> schmuck <laughs> named Stretch. <laughs> That's not my problem. Hi, I'm, I'm Stretch. Just <laughs> I'm just Hi, I'm Stretch. Whoever it goes into, that is not on me. <laughs> I was, we just told you. Whatever, it's just, what if it's just in the middle of the ring. Don't touch it. Why don't we just dance around it? Yeah, don't touch it. Oh, it stays there. Didn't I give you all kinds of fucking ideas and how to use this thing? I gotta stop giving people ideas because then I can't do it. Like no death match for you. No death match, no life. No, no, none for him. None for me? None for you. You should probably tell him that. Because I'm doing them. No. I'm a wrestler, meaning I'll do any kind of wrestling. Because mm. I have too many ideas for dumb shit not to do. I get upset when some people do the death match wrestling. I just feel like certain people shouldn't do it. I feel Austin's on that list. People think because we're young that we shouldn't do it, but like, I feel like we should do it while we're still physically capable. Of it. You don't want to wait until you're not able to do it, because then when you're old and you're already established and you start doing it, like fucking Buff Bagwell. Buff Bagwell. <laughs> Like, what the fuck, man? You're doing it just to, like, rip off the guys doing it, and, like... Well, tell me you don't want to watch Buff Bagwell in a death match. Yeah, I, I do. I totally do. I see Death Daddy. Death Daddy. So much. Death well, Daddy. A little bit. But then there's, like, other wrestlers that do it well. Like, wrestlers that are never really doing death matches, but when they do, they're really fucking good. Like, fucking Effie. Just does, like, a random one every now and again, and it's really good. Yes. Oh, oh, careful. That could have been... That could, be that could mess up your hair. Oh, you scared me. Give me anxiety. <laughs> Shoulder tackles here. <laughs> Giving me anxiety. Yeah, my phone blowing me up. Bang. Whatever, like, so, I'm, whatever you want. Bro. This be usual. How many layers are we doing? Is this uh, the last layer? Third like, strand. Oh man, is this the last one? I like eight. Yeah, it should be. Probably because I don't feel like it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Realistically, that's the corner. Boy, that should that should make you nice and bleed. I mean, there's never enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, anthrax is laying out. Oh, jeez. Let's get signed. Are you gonna sit there and sign all of it? I already did. Oh, you did? I already did. Ooh. <laughs> Are you ready for today? No. No? Why not? There's lots of toys they see for this match. Yeah. Just a nervous wreck. Really? Why? It's just a big moment. Okay. That's good. Talk to that guy. He's excited. Right stretch? You said you're excited. <laughs> He's trying to protect his eyes. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store. If the candy store were filled with and blood and bread. Did something set us up. No dying. Oh shit now. So I found Jimmy and now Jimmy is a ref now. So can I heckle you? Yeah, I saw your tweet. <laughs> I have the names of everyone who's supporting you, heckling me, written down. I know who to look at. 
If I get mommied in streamers, you're gonna get blamed from here until the day I retire. It's always, I it's always me though. It's always me though. I'm going to, if I'm working tonight, I'm instructing whatever match I am to do some toe base in your direction. <laughs> How many people are going to dive at me tonight? I will find out, but at least one if I have a match tonight. <laughs> Alright, but in all seriousness, now you are in the ropes now, so how is that? It's insane. Like, it's a childhood dream that I'm now chasing. And when I learned that, you know, these are hard dudes with training, I thought, oh, I'm going to be horrible at this. But the first time I got a match at training, I was like, I love this. This is awesome. Let me work. I did ref, refing, being in that ring as a referee was the most fun I've had in ever. And I can't wait to keep doing it because that just means it's a workout. Like, I worked uh, six man last Undiscovered and I was sweating like a pig. That it's only like a 10 minute match. Right. It, it's a workout. It, it gets your blood flowing and it, it just gets you excited for one day being in there after wrestling. Yeah. Cool. It's, it's so much fun. Ooh, so excited. <laughs> so you excited for tonight? Absolutely. Ooh, you ready for 200 light tubes? I am so ready for 200 <laughs> light tubes. I'm ready for it. The cleanup? Not so much. The match? Uh, absolutely. Don't worry about the cleanup. Yeah. We're going to just have fun. We're going to intake all those tubes. All the spoopy things. All the spooky night. does. Yes. Building. Back to school. <laughs> We're back to school. I have OCD, so I take forever to do things. We make a bundle. Make a bundle. Make a bundle. This is the way. I definitely use way too much tape. How many bundles are you making? Uh, four bundles of four so that it's 16 and that my OCD is <laughs> And then we'll see how many we have left. We'll just make like an extra random I guess. Like, the question is like those bundles, that's like a whole box of tubes. And like, that's just fucking breakfast. It's awesome. <laughs> the question is where are the skinny tubes? Nowhere to be found. It's the fucking Chando brings them here all the time. They just kind of get them away. I don't know if you have free health care in Australia or definitely not in Mexico. <laughs> in America, insurance is expensive. Yes. What's up? What's up? What up? Apparently what up, I don't I don't I don't I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I, I don't love you anymore because you don't do flippy shit. I know, I basically. See? Like, I'm going to do some flippy stuff tonight now. Okay, I, I expect a shooting star press. <laughs> Dylan's going to teach you. It's gonna That's be, it. Gonna do a <laughs> so he wants to do a shooting star press. He said I don't love him because he doesn't do flippy shit. So, you're going you're gonna to lay there? You're gonna nip up as I'm flipping. Catch me, DDT. From doing a broccoli. Just do it. If I'm doing a broccoli, I'm coming down like this. Do that double shooter. You always get a treat. There you go. Yeah. I want flippy shit. Because I don't love him because he don't do flippy shit. That's what he messaged me the other day. That means you can do a Phoenix push. There you go. Flippy shit. I can definitely do a Phoenix Ooh. Flippy shit. I just want a shooting star press. That's it. Like, you know, that's all I want. <laughs> Kirk's got it. <laughs> Kirk, you gonna do a shooting star press work next? <laughs> you want the shooting star press? <laughs> 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 shooting star press. <laughs> 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 I didn't say that. He's starting trouble. She wants me to do it. I'm gonna do it. He's walking around. He's giving me video game of the week, maybe. No? Video game of the week. 
might as well, might as well do a Batman game since I saw since I saw the Batman. Yes. And so um, how about how about Batman Arkham City? Okay, that's a good one actually. Yeah. Really, really good. I played that one. Really good. But honestly, I could say this: all the Arkham games are good. Like, yes, even Origins is good in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight. I get why it also get head also was a little disappointing. Too much Batmobile tank. Come on, man. Too much. <laughs> Too much. Wait, I want to see your shirt. Look at this cool shirt. It's all my phone, brother. <laughs> Declan does a good one. Where's Declan? He's on top. He's on top of the locker room. Casey's next doing a 200 like two match with Joel. I'm busy. <laughs> She's washing her hair that day. Me too. I'm brushing my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. So you excited for your match? Are you still trying to figure it out? I have, he's a deep thought. Are you picturing an island? I'm excited to watch it. I'm excited to watch it. Yeah, I just want to watch it. Yeah, excited's a little dramatic. I, I'm, I'm nervous because Matt's Matt. And even when Matt isn't Matt, he's still Matt, if you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> this is terrible footage, I hope you didn't use it. Jess is doing her makeup to look all pretty. <laughs> you got this. Oh, it's Chad Spectacular. Hello. What are you ready for today, I'm tomorrow, <laughs> Saturday? I'm a ball of emotion. <laughs> he is a ball of mess right now. But we're here on a Monday for special events. Death matching on a Monday. Fucking love it. Yes. Nothing like the smell of light tubes at night. Exactly. Spooky dog. Enjoy it. So Enjoy it. Take it in. Well, don't breathe it in, but. Yeah, my dumb self. I'm breaking out a new white jacket. I'm like, should I have a white jacket? Uh, not, not, not today. <laughs> if it happens, it happens. Oh, man. even better. It's going to add that extra um. Yeah, that's extra. Try not to get blood. <laughs> We'll get you some Tide and some, some stuff on the side. Yeah. We'll get the Tide stick for you. <laughs> and the hydrogen peroxide is waiting back there. There you go. There you go. We'll go, we'll go to CBS. We'll go get a 99 cent bottle. You'll be all right. Exactly. Just pour it on. Just pour it on. <laughs> like slider blue. Just pour it on. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get dive back.
because you know that my balls are bigger than yours. <laughs>
and a lot of the people back there don't get is that everybody grew up watching US independent wrestling. Yeah! yeah! So, to people out the back like Dylan McKay and Marcus Mathers and Kennedy Copeland, the next generation of independent top stars, please do not underestimate the amount of reach and the amount of influence that you have on independent wrestling around the rest of the world.